What is up YouTube? Today I got a question for you is how to fix the power button on a iPod second generation 4.2.1. <clears throat> As you know that it does not have the active touch that the 4 does and above. As you see, no active touch. But it is on 4.2.1 and the power button is completely jammed. Like, it, you can't even press it down. Your volume buttons work though. So if you know how a way for me to lock the device without letting it have to fall asleep every time, please comment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like. And I'll see you next time in a good video. While well, I'm at it, since this video is so short, I'm going to show you how to reset an iPod second generation. So you just go into settings general scroll down to reset reset all settings whoops reset erase ipod erase ipod and there you have it so you just let this process go through and your device will be re um reset i'm going to come back once this, this is done so YouTube, we're back after resetting the iPod. So as you see, it says connect to iTunes. So basically what you do is you need a computer, Mac, or MacBook, Mac, iMac, or a Windows, any Windows. So <clears throat> you need iTunes downloaded to the computer. I have a link in the description. You need to take a USB, plug it into your iPod. So that reads it. Once you have done that, you want to have it plugged into your computer. Okay. And then you want to have um, iTunes opened. Why is it? So, what you want to do now is make sure you recognize your iPod now. Um, you just want to set up as new. Continue. Sorry, you want to get started. So now your iPod can be used, and just to show you that it is reset, I see. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you next time I make a video. And as you see, it is done. So um, bye.